Hi, my name is Lydia and I used to go to Mrs. Foster's story time and a lot of library activities so I'm really excited to be making this video for you. Um, so I went to college to be an art teacher and I really love creating art and helping others be creative. So today I'm going to show you how to do food stamping. So this is a really great activity to use things you already have at home and to kind of see them in a new way. So before you start this activity, you get to go on a hunt through your house for things to use for stamping. So when you're looking for items to use, you want to think about things that have a cool shape or a really cool texture. So a texture is, in this case, something you can feel. So maybe bumps or little indents on things around your house that will show up um, in a different way with paint than how you might feel them with your fingers. Um, you also want to make sure you think about that the things that you choose will be covered in paint. So make sure you don't steal your brother's <laughs> shoes or your mom's socks or something that will not be good when covered in paint. Um, so I call this food stamping. So a pl good place to start would be in the kitchen. Um, so here are some things that I found from my kitchen to be um, to kind of serve as inspiration for you. Um, a big thing in my life and when I make art is I really don't like to waste things. So when I was looking around my kitchen, I was looking for some things that wouldn't be really wasteful as in that I wasn't taking a lot of food from my kitchen. Um, so for example, this strawberry I grabbed and I thought this could look really cool as a stamp. It's all, um, it is a little soft, um, but it has a cool shape to it. And this strawberry is getting a little squishy, so I probably wouldn't want to eat it, so it's perfect for this activity. Um, I also grabbed a mushroom. Um, this is some cilantro. I have a pickle, some Czech cereal, a few macaroni noodles. This is a date, a cracker, um, this broccoli. I thought this texture was really cool. Um, this is the top of uh, celery that you would cut off before you ate it. And then here are some Twizzlers. Um, so as I was also looking around my house, I thought that I could find some things that weren't food. So if you don't want to use food for this, there are plenty of other things you can find in your house. So here are some other things I found besides food. This is from a coffee, a to-go coffee. It's got some little indents in it. Um, a spool, the top of a pop can, um, a lid, a rubber band. This is from a piece of cardboard. It's called corrugated cardboard. So if you pull off the top layer, some cardboard has little bumps like this inside. Um, a few beads, some bubble wrap, a fork, some rocks, and part of a fern. So once you've gathered all of these materials, um, you're almost ready to stamp. Um, before you get stamping, you want to make sure to cover your work area with something so you don't um, wreck a table or counter, whatever you're working on. I like to just use newspaper. Um, and then you can get your paint ready. So a, a great kind of paint to use for this is washable paint, just um, so that you don't um, wreck your clothes if you get the paint on them. But I didn't have any, so I'm using acrylic paint, which is fine as well. You just have to be a little more careful. Um, and you can choose whichever colors you'd like. I just chose the primary, primary colors, red, yellow, and blue, um, because I think I could do a little mixing on my paper and maybe mix some new colors, um, like blue and purple, or blue and red together make purple. Um, so that'll allow me to be a little more creative with my colors once I start stamping. Um, I'm putting my paint down on paper plates and you can use, if you have painting palettes, you could use those. Um, you could also use like a, con a lid from a container, like a yogurt container, um, or you could use um, a plate and wash it off when you're done. Um, once I have, my, I have my paint out, I also have my materials to stamp on. So I just have a normal sheet of printer paper here, and I also thought this would be a great way to make my own wrapping paper. So I got a long sheet of white paper um, to stamp on. And um, when you're stamping, you can think about 
how messy you want to get. So I don't mind getting messy when I'm creating. That's kind of what I like about it. But if you really don't want to touch the things that you grabbed, you could use um, toothpicks and stick them into the foods so that you don't have to touch them or possibly get paint on yourself. Um, and then I kind of divide out my materials onto a different, um, into a different color area because I don't really want to move them into all the colors because that'll make a brown and I want to keep my colors the bright, beautiful colors they are now. So I'm going to divide this up a little bit. And then I am ready to start stamping. So I'm just going to, I'm going to start with my strawberry. Dip it in the paint and stamp it onto my paper and see what the shape looks like. So sometimes if you have a lot of paint to start, it'll kind of look like a blob because the paint's really thick. But then as you stamp a little more and paint comes off, you're starting to see the shape of the top of the strawberry a little more. I'm going to try my Twizzler. So I'm getting a little paint on myself. But if I didn't want to, I could use a toothpick. Get some other colors in there. So I'm seeing how my textures show up as paint, or as a stamp with paint on them. So maybe the first way that I put this down doesn't really make much, but I can wiggle it around and see what other kinds of shapes I can create with it. Some, you may be able to kind of drag them across the paper to make different designs instead of just stamping in one place. You could make lines or shapes. I think that will especially work well with something like leaves. And like I said before, if you'd like to try some mixing of colors, you could kind of maybe twist them together or stamp on top. And I'm kind of getting a little bit of an orange color there. But when I look at this piece of paper and I see these different shapes, I wouldn't say that's a piece of, or that's the top of a strawberry. It, this is a, new, a way to make things that are normal look a little different and you can kind of see them in a new way, in a, a new way to use them besides just eating or using in your house. One of the ones I'm most excited about is bubble wrap. I think that's going to look really cool. So after I stamp for a while and this big sheet of paper dries, I could use this, um, I could cut it up and use it as a bunch of little pieces of art or I could use it as wrapping paper. Try a couple different colors. I'm really seeing how these normal things look a lot different when you add paint to them. Some things you might be able to use the other sides of. So when I look at this cracker, this side's really smooth and would probably just make a flat circle, but this side is really bumpy and will be a, a much different shape than just a normal circle. Might have to add more paint or less paint. Some things might be better um, cut up, like this pickle. If you are struggling to find things in your house to use, you could think about maybe if you're going to eat a whole banana, you could save one little slice from it so you don't waste the whole banana for this project, but you can still see what it looks like. Think about different ways to use the objects besides just stamping you could roll or like I said before kind of drag them use them as paint brushes this one's a little too small but maybe I can get it to look like a little macaroni noodle Alright, so take one last look at these items that you could use. Um, use what I found as inspiration. I'm sure you'll have much different things in your house than I did. You could also look around outside. You could find different shaped leaves or um, 
plants, flowers. Those would all be great things to use for stamping. Thanks so much for watching this. I hope you have a ton of fun as you're at home finding things to do. Um, I just want to say one other alternative, if you don't have paint, you could use this with something like Play-Doh and push it in to make imprints. That would be another great way to stamp if you don't have the paint material. Um, but whatever you do, um, this is just a great way to take normal things and use them in a more creative way and see them um, as shapes, textures, different than just the literal objects that they are. Thanks so much. Have fun with this.